Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is November 9th, 2016. And as of lately, I have been hearing more and more from retired U.S. military men and women. And I'm starting to hear from active men and women in the armed services all over the world. And the stories that they're leading me to caused me to start looking into the report that I'm about to give to you. And you can consider it a warning or you can just consider it good information in preparation for Planet X, Nibiru. So I decided to start looking into all of this U.S. military purging by the current administration here in the United States government. This goes back as far as I could find 2013, President Barack Obama purging the U.S. military, getting rid of U.S. generals all through the military. Why is he doing this? Why all of the sudden concern over civil disobedience and civil unrest? Why the sudden push over the last few years to take away the guns of American citizens. Why? To leave them completely defenseless. That's why. I went on and on, article after article after article. And why are some of these U.S. generals in the U.S. military being fired, relieved of duty after years of service with impeccable records? Why are some of them ending up dead? Just like the Planet X astronomers, researchers, and scientists. Why did the U.S. military order 2 billion .223 caliber rounds, hollow points, for right here in the United States, for the U.S. military? Why is that? Are they expecting massive civil unrest? with the impending approachment of Planet X. There's only approximately a half a million U.S. armed forces in this country. Why do we have 120,000 additional U.N. troops? I've spoken to several people that have been in the U.S. military over the past eight years. Some of them have just been released from active duty. And we spoke together about this litmus test that they were given. One of the first questions on the test was, are you able to shoot and kill an American citizen? Whether it be a man, a woman, a child, or even a pregnant woman. Well, that's quite disturbing for someone who has enlisted in the United States military to uphold the Constitution of this country. And why would our government ask our military to shoot and kill U.S. citizens that would be scared and afraid and fighting for their life because they don't understand what is happening in the skies above us? Well, I think that's absolutely disgusting. That's a purge against humanity, not only Americans, but against the entire world. And what gives this man the right to play judge, jury, executioner, and God Almighty? So what I'm saying, people, is as we get closer and closer to the day that we start to see Nibiru and Planet X, we're going to see more and more strategic maneuvers by the U.S. military. Is the U.S. military being lied to as the general soldier? I would have to say yes. Look at all of the psychological operations that they've been conducting since Jade Helm, U.S. 16, all of the false flag operations. They're getting prepared. Because when people start to see something in the sky that they are not familiar with, 
and then we're given a 40 or 45 day notice like some people think that we will be given. At that point in time, there will be massive civil unrest in this country. There will be rampant crime because there, there's naturally bad people on this earth. They don't want you to have the means to protect yourself because they want to take control of you. They will get rid of the people that they cannot control. They will take in the people that can be controlled and they will probably make slaves of you and you will serve some type of purpose. And I've gone on and on with this investigation of mine and just recently this two-star U.S. general committed suicide just after being appointed to a new position. The man was 55 years old, second, uh, what is what was he, a uh, two-star general, General John Rossi. Family, great career, smart, intelligent man, and then all of a sudden, he kills himself. No suicide note, nothing. Was this man being given a direct order in his new position to kill U.S. citizens? The possibility is very high. Look what has been done to astronomers across the world. 125 astronomers dead as of today. Let's listen to a, a quick video that was put up by Secure Team based on the death of General Rossi. Let's take a listen. Hey, what is up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. We have a very shocking new revelation that has got many people questioning just what is going on in space. Uh, I know we've talked a lot lately about NASA's sudden rush to upgrade and quickly advance their warning system that has been put in place to shield Earth or at least warn Earth from incoming objects, asteroids that could potentially wipe us all out. We have had Obama's executive order talking about, quote, space weather that could also wreck our planet, destroy our electrical grid, and we've talked about all of these WikiLeaks email dumps, which again have talked about the same thing. So there's a lot of people wondering, including myself, what is going on outside of our planet? Is there something we're not being told? Uh, NASA just had a meeting at the end of October with FEMA, which is usually never a good sign if you know what FEMA's purpose is. And now we have a two-star general that has, quote, committed suicide days before he was to take charge of U.S. space and missile defense. And this is according to uh, the Army. So this two-star general, whose name is John Rossi, Major General John Rossi, who is 55 years old, was found dead recently uh, near Huntsville, Alabama. The death happened just two days before Rossi was scheduled to start his new role as the head of U.S. Space and Missile Defense, and it's got a lot of people, even including the family of the general, asking questions, and they don't believe that he committed suicide. Well, there you go, folks. Very healthy man, career military, appointed to a new position, dead. Let's move on. Let's move on to another video that I think you should definitely listen to. I'm going to post links in the description box under this video for everything that you're viewing now. I'm Jakari Jackson with an InfoWars nightly news alert. Are you willing to fire upon Americans? That's the question reportedly being asked of military personnel. And who's asking this question? The United States government themselves, according to the military personnel we've talked to. Retired Navy SEAL Benjamin Smith went on the Fox News channel, revealing how he believes the United States government is trying to provoke veterans into an armed confrontation. He was also on the Alex Jones radio show today, telling us about the litmus test he was given. Going back to the, the the beginning of this administration, there were I've I've had friends within the community talking about how they were brought in and you know questioned with 
people from, um, you know, more towards the top side. And the questioning resulted in kind of where the where it was pointing was, you know, do you feel comfortable disarming American citizens? And you can see that now with the shedding of a lot of the officers and stuff like that. It's it's you know we don't have the hundred percent track on it, but. You know, there, there's a lot of funny things happening within military. They're now, trying to now that's bombshell, but I want to quantify that. I have Secret Service, FBI sources on record on the air, but also covert sources that are currently in. They say exactly that for two years. There is a litmus test where officers from the generals down to lieutenant generals, down to majors. down. Now, I know everyone is not a fan of Mr. Alex Jones and Infowars.com. But the man does uncover some information that is quite startling, and he is one hell of a pit bull when it comes to uncovering this information and reporting. But let's listen a little further of this plan that they have for civil unrest. Litmus test where officers from the generals down to lieutenant generals, down to majors, down to sergeant, uh, you know, master sergeants, will you fire on U.S. citizens? And if you say no, you're sent to the worst hellhole or basically kicked out. If you say yes, you're put into special homeland security units. Quantify, you're saying yep. people in the community, special warfare community, are saying they have been brought into litmus test meetings. Yeah. And at this at this moment in this conversation, it's, yeah, it's got it. to bring it back to Van Jones. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, my God. Um, like, do you remember him when he said you have to, like, for us to have the argument or to just have the conversation logically? And what he was saying with like the communists and the lefties and the everything that he, Van Jones is, it's you drop the radical pose for the radical ends. And just to translate that into what this is. You know, I understand a lot of libertarian, Ron Paul, a lot of people that, that are your listeners um, get, like, fervent and very strong about it. And it's... Well, folks, you can listen to the rest of this interview with Mr. Benjamin Smith, former U.S. military, Navy SEAL, breaking his silence on what he experienced and what he was told and what they were trying to train him to do. But why would they do that? And why would they start to militarize police departments across the United States? Is crime in this country that bad that U.S. police departments need military vehicles? No. They're preparing for civil unrest when the day comes when Planet X, Nibiru, is knocking on our back door. And they want to maintain control for the New World Order. They want the depopulization, and that is clear. Let's move on for more shocking information. Listen up. Your government is preparing for a fight. What may surprise you is whom the fight is going to be against. Urban military training exercises are becoming an increasingly common sight in many U.S. cities. The Department of Homeland Security has spent the past year acquiring more than one billion rounds of high-performance ammunition. Do these developments suggest concerns over a potential terrorist attack? Are they preparations for widespread social upheaval? Is there perhaps something even more sinister underway? Military veteran and independent journalist David Bard reports that he spoke with a man identified as an insider at the Department of Homeland Security who described urban warfare training as, quote, desensitizing exercises all across the U.S., adding that, quote, we're being prepared for mass civil unrest in major U.S. cities. DOD will be expected to help when we're requested. My name is Robert Whitaker, the tactical supervisor for El Paso SRT for Homeland Security Investigations. 
Well, we have our, our big vehicle out here, it's an armored vehicle. Uh, it's an AMRAP vehicle. It's mine resistant, ambush protected is what it stands for. This is what we use to deliver our, our, um, our team to uh, high risk warrant services. Who's identified as a troublemaker, he has a cursor. He can put that cursor on that individual, pull the trigger that's on the joystick, and the energy is sent down range at the speed of light. The electromagnetic radiation released by the active denial system is similar to the microwaves in your microwave oven in that it causes the water molecules in the target to become excited and heat up. Folks, if you took a look at that animation, that military equipment was not being used against animated soldiers. It was being used against animated civilians clear as a bell. So if that was a military operation video, why weren't the animated characters dressed in military fatigues? Let's continue. It gets even more shocking. Um, there's a shocking claim that Obama only wants military leaders who will fire on U.S. citizens. This comes from a very credited source. This man made a fa Facebook uh, post yesterday, Dr. Jim Garrow, that he had been informed by a senior military leader that Obama has a new litmus test, and that litmus test is, will you fire on U.S. citizens or not? I have many buddies in the reserves, navies, marines, many of them have told me the same thing. Matter of fact, quite a few of them have told me it was one of the very first questions they were even asked if they would fire on U.S. citizens if they had to, which is disturbing in its own right. DHS supplier provides shooting targets of American gun owners. Paul Joseph Watson has this shocking story about how law enforcement targets incorporated is producing cardboard cutouts of quote non-traditional threats. Of course this is on the heels of the federal government purchasing in excess of two billion bullets for non-law enforcement non-lethal agencies. What the hell is going on? They're producing targets that say do not hesitate of children, of pregnant women, of elderly men in summary of society's most vulnerable and typically most innocent citizens. You just cannot believe these cutouts, but they produce them and you've really got to ask why on the heels of Homeland Security and other agencies preparing to deal with the American people openly stating they consider them to be potential extremists and the enemies in the event of an economic or civil unrest event. Any Thing really they can use to justify a total literal occupation of America through Homeland Security and related agencies. Now let's roll some of those incredible cardboard cutouts again that they say are going to be used by law enforcement who need to get over their hesitation factor for uh, enemies they may encounter quote for the first time and the obvious question is why is there such a demand for these items which again show nothing other than old ladies there's a child with a gun uh, maybe six or seven years old there's a pregnant woman photographed in a nursery who's the target. Now, why is the officer there with the drawn gun in the nursery in the first place? Does he have a warrant? Has there been due process? Why does he consider this pregnant woman to be the enemy? Why are they planning to take down vulnerable and ordinary Americans? This is really bizarre, and it really should strike a nerve. Well, there you go, folks. You be the judge. You come to your own conclusions. You do your own investigation. They are not preparing for a World War III with Russia or China. There may be a small war in the Middle East pertaining to the oil reserves. But what I'm telling you now is you better prepare yourself. You better prepare yourself with food, water, shelter and a way to protect yourself you better start educating yourself we have some time to go and there is no harm in preparing yourself I've delivered this message over and over and over again the photographs in the videos that you see on my channel are evidence of what is in our skies they do not want you to know they will not tell you. If you take a look at the comments section 
of any of my videos, you will see the most dastardly people, the same people there time and time again, day after day, hour by hour, trying to discredit everything that this channel produces because that is what they're paid to do. They are paid disinformationalists. They work for the governments in New Zealand, Australia, Canada, the UK, and the United States. It's a fact. I've already uncovered it. They're there for a reason. They can call me all of the names that they want. The bottom line is my message will not stop. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The purging of the United States military because they refuse to shoot U.S. citizens. That's the bottom line. And with that said, I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers and subscribers. Your loyalty is greatly appreciated. I'd also like to remind you to make sure that you are subscribed to the Nibiru channel and share all of our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget, you can still email your photographs and videos to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. Your videos and photographs are very important. We would also like to remind you that you should come back to the Nibiru channel daily for all of our current updates. Create a bookmark or a direct link to the Nibiru channel, Planet X 2016. This is vital to stay informed. And as you go through life and your day to day, always remember, keep an eye in the sky.